And welcome back to Review Geek Free Fest. And you are here for one reason only, and that is to talk everything that is wrestling. Just guys, stay tuned for the awesome content that will be dropped very shortly. And again, guys, share, like, subscribe to this channel. And again, you lovely YouTubers, stay awesome. Yes, guys, welcome to the Contenders Corner podcast. And we bring to you another special episode, guys. And this is Who Will the Rated R Superstar Edge Face at WrestleMania. And this is Review Geek 3000 on YouTube. And again, guys, join us on YouTube for everything that is wrestling. And again, guys, you can follow us on Instagram at the Geek Collections. You can follow us on Twitter at our Geek Three Thousand, and you can also follow us on YouTube over on Review Geek Three Thousand. And again, guys, we shortly dropped in the past week our Facebook page Review Geek Three Thousand on Facebook. And again, guys, this will be linked to our YouTube channel, and we will be literally sharing our videos off on YouTube over on Facebook, so we reach out a wider reach out to a wider audience and again guys you can contact us on that page you can contact us on, on twitter you can contact us via instagram and again guys we will enjoy speaking and talking to you and again guys you can subscribe to all that social media and a massive shout out to all our subscribers who have supported us over the past few months and again since september when we started guys we have loved doing this for you and again mainly we did this guys because the pandemic was hurting a lot of people again it a lot of people have suffered from mental health loneliness and depression and we reach out to those people guys we want to inspire those people motivate those people and again bring them back you know, to enjoy wrestling, to enjoy films, to enjoy games. And again, guys, we shout out to those people. And their mental health just gets shoved under the side. Loneliness, again, guys, there are a lot of elderly people who who are lonely in, in the world, guys. And again, it just gets shoved under the water. And same for depression, guys. Uh, you know a lot of men don't talk about their problems they just brush it aside and want to move on and whatever but again guys we want to inspire those people to get out in the world talk to people talk about their problems what they're going through and again raise their alarms raise their stresses of what is happening to them and again, a massive shout out to the me mental health awareness, uh, loneliness and depression, guys. And again, our schedule on this channel is the Contenders Corner uh, Film Parade. Our Gaming Lounge, guys, and also our monthly mystery unboxings. We have got a lot. We do a lot on this channel. But that is why guys this channel is more broader than just one just one topic we like to branch it all out guys there is something on this channel for someone to watch and that that's what is that that's what makes this channel unique there is something at least for somebody on this channel through a playlist of ours that you will be interested in and again guys a math you know as we get bigger guys in the coming years oh, whatever how long it takes guys we will be doing monthly giveaways and another shout out to you guys we love you on this channel guys with your support with your appreciation this channel is getting more popular 
by the day and we thank you guys we thank you for your support and we love you guys and again you know in the past weeks guys we have had a lot to drop on this channel we've done the nemesis walkthrough for you guys on the standard mode and you can catch that on there we did a farming we did a farming walkthrough a farming a farming guide on the nemesis 3 resident evil 3 nemesis we did a walkthrough on the hardcore mode as well guys and you can catch that all on our playlist of the gaming lounge on the nemesis 3 walkthrough and again guys we also did a lot on the contenders corner podcast and that was the resident the Royal Rumble review. We did a Contenders Corner special for The Dream is Alive on the road to WrestleMania, and that was mainly for Edge upon winning the Royal Rumble. And we did a episode 35, and that was the SmackDown review, and episode 34 for the Monday Night Raw. And on those both episodes, guys, we did a Royal Rumble predictions. And the recent one that we dropped yesterday was the Contenders Corner podcast. And again, guys, this is the first episode where we introduced NXT. And again, all the shows in the future now, guys, are just going to be blasted into one episode. And we will review them on the spot, guys. And what we'll do, we'll do an overall rating of which show was the best on the end of the episode and again you can catch that episode and that was episode 38 on the contenders corner podcast but this is what it's all about guys and that is to talk everything wrestling guys and this episode is specifically who will be Edge's opponent going forward on the road. On the road to WrestleMania. And again, guys, Edge, we all know Edge won the Royal Rumble at, you know, and he's a contender now, guys. He is the number one contender for any one of these guys. He could be the, he could walk out of WrestleMania the NXT champion it could walk out the Wrestlemania as the universal champion guys it could walk out of Wrestlemania as the WWE champion guys but who is Edge the rated R superstar who is he going to face at Wrestlemania is he going to face Drew McIntyre is he going to face Finn Balor or is he going to face the head of the table? The tribal chief. The chieftain. Roman Reigns. And again guys, this is a discussion here. And we're just going to outline the possible. The possible chances of Edge facing one of these opponents. And again guys... There is a few people have said that the likelihood of him facing Finn Balor is very unlikely, guys. And that was just a tease more than anything. And basically, he would, he would either face Drew McIntyre or Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But again, guys, even... For it to be on the cards, guys. The NXT title has never been defended at WrestleMania. And imagine the NXT title defended at WrestleMania for the first time. And again, I would like to see Edge... Not push stars that don't need to be pushed, guys. I would... I would I would rather see uh, Edge create a star than push somebody who doesn't need to be more over than he already is. And 
again it would be fun it would be crazy if we saw a main event of the head of the table and Edge was his contender on the other side of the ring and again and Edge walked out as the universal champion and dethroned the head of the table and Edge was your rated R superstar again and the dream was alive and he gave an emphatic an emphatic show of shows guys but again imagine the NXT title being defended for the first time at Wrestlemania imagine that guys for the first time and we saw Edge walk out as the NXT champion for the first time guys he's never hold, he's never held that belt guys and also that belt has never been defended at Wrestlemania but again it would be crazy to see Finn Balor go up against Edge but this time not on an NXT show guys but at Wrestlemania and that is something that I would like to put out there you know the idea of Finn Balor being put over by Edge you know um, in effect Finn Balor didn't lose the WWE title he never lost it he had the same situation as Edge he had to literally give it away give up the title because of an injury and again guys the they both have similar similarities they are great stars guys Finn Balor upon when he returned guys upon when he returned he was just treated more like a jobber than given the opportunity to regain what he never lost in the first place and again he goes to NXT and look at him now he is a star in NXT and again are we ever going to see NXT are we ever going to see the NXT champion Finn Balor come back over to Smackdown or on Raw but again imagine the idea of the rated R superstar going up against Finn Balor at Wrestlemania and what are your thoughts on that guys what are your thoughts on Finn Balor defending the NXT Championship against the rated R superstar Edge hold on guys I'm just messaging somebody <laughs> So again guys, um it is it is being rumoured that we are gonna see at WrestleMania thirty seven a Roman Reigns versus Edge. And again guys, the story would fit the story would fit that. You know, especially on SmackDown guys when Edge played games with Roman Reigns all week and Roman Reigns literally belittled and went ballistic on the promo and said why would he leave him for last why would he leave Roman Reigns till last why is Edge playing games with the head of the table and then you saw Roman Reigns go mad and this is what <laughs> I love this is what I like to see in a heel guys someone going ballistic someone going mad over the fact that they're being played games with they're being used at their own games and Edge is playing Roman and has done that all week guys 
and uh, you see that in the in the promo that Romo that Roman Reigns delivered, and it was a fantastic promo, guys. It was a great promo, one of the best promos I've seen from Roman to date, guys, and it uh, it showed the. It showed Roman It showed him uh, In a better way guys Lord. Over the past I have been a, a major critic of Roman Of his work And uh, more recently I've watched him More Than I have done in years guys and uh, I've watched Roman more in <laughs> to date, guys, than I have in years. And with this promo, with going forward, you know, with this storyline with Jay Uso, with Kevin Owens, this stuff is crazy, guys. This stuff is getting me on the edge of my feet guys you know sitting there and get and seeing Kevin Owens on one smackdown doing the purple power bomb on Roman Reigns for a table that was awesome guys that was fantastic stunner after stunner and then we saw Roman Reigns throw Kevin Owens off the Thunderdome for a table at the Royal Rumble that was crazy guys and then we saw <laughs> Edge come on the end of Smackdown and then he didn't need to say anything guys he didn't need to say anything because Kevin Owens was there to stunner Roman Reigns again that was fantastic guys and that was fantastic to see guys it was awesome but again it would be fun it would be crazy if those two the rated R superstar came up and fought against Roman Reigns. But again, Edge, the rated R superstar, you know, for these new people that haven't watched the Royal Rumble, survived the 2021 Royal Rumble, picking up his second victory in the monumental match. Now the focus swings over to which champion will Edge challenge? The multiple time champion is looking to strap that belt around his waist one last time. Nearly 10 years today, guys, when he had to relinquish the title and retire with three champions boasting gold belts, there's a reason to see that Edge could potentially challenge any of those individuals. Could we see NXT? Champion Finn Balor face the rated R superstar Edge. And again, Finn Balor is a dark horse in the race, guys. Balor has continued to put on an exceptional matches as this iteration of the Prince that harkens back to his time in New Japan. He and Kyle O'Reilly put on two of the best matches in the WWE in recent memory. Now he has Pete Dunne breathing down his neck and carrying Cross not too far off from there. It is harder to see Bala as the opponent to Edge because that Cross, that Cross match is demanding to be made. The WWE positioned Cross to be the big bad final villain for NXT when he defeated Keith Lee and unfortunately that shouldn't that shoulder injury forced him out of action. It is more believable to see that the victory coming over Balor rather than coming over Edge. A match between Finn Balor and Edge would be fantastic. It would be awesome to see, guys. It would be crazy. But it does not need to happen under these standards. And again, we have Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief is sitting on Smack. 
on the SmackDown roster doing whatever he pleases to make sure that everyone remains in their place. He and Kevin Owens continue to beat each other. Senseless, but Owens has failed to get his hand raised against the former member of the Shield. Where does Reigns go from here? The dream match against The Rock does sound enticing, but much harder to achieve in the current climate of the COVID-19 global pandemic. Perhaps that is something to build too. But a potential match against Edge is something we can see sooner rather than later. The promos between these two men would be amazing to experience. Edge is fighting for his, his last chance to obtain the glory that slipped through his fingers when his body almost failed him. Then there's Reigns who, who has put everything into keeping that title and his place at the top of the table. WrestleMania season should be about emotion and these two men facing off would exude that every moment and again the dream will be alive guys the fairy should edge have that fairy tale ending regain the title that he never lost but then we have Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre's title run has been enjoyable in a sense but there seems to be a lot left on the table his total run has consisted of matches with opponents who are not top tier a position. Men such as Dolph Ziggler and Randy Orton received multiple title shots against McIntyre. Then there's Sheamus, who is up next. Even though he has had a strong singles run of late, and let us not get started about Bill Oldberg. McIntyre promised to be a champion that faced worthy contenders, but that has not been the case. Could Edge help fix this? Could Edge help change the fact that Drew McIntyre could face a worthy contender at WrestleMania? Just as we reigns opportunity a feud between Edge and McIntyre would be an emotional ride Edge is one of the last kings from a prior time that has found his way back into the ring McIntyre would surely respect that but he has done everyone else doing so would perhaps be the biggest name other than Brock Lesnar on his championship run and defeating Edge on the grandest stage of the moor could be the starting point this scene a different side of McIntyre that could help him develop into something new for the fans to enjoy. And again, no matter what opponent Edge faces, guys, it is going to be crazy anyway. Could there be a potential for the NXT title to be defended at WrestleMania for the first time? It would be lovely to see that, guys. Are we going to see Drew McIntyre? be given a worthy contender to contend is Drew McIntyre going to put that title on the line at Wrestlemania against the rated R superstar Edge or are we going to see the tribal chief the chieftain the head of the table come blow to blows with Edge at Wrestlemania no matter what opponent guys we are going to see a Wrestlemania at that main event Edge and his mystery opponent guys it will be an emotional ride it will be a crazy match guys a crazy match indeed but one we are going to be anticipating for the months to come guys we have the elimination chamber yet to come guys we have fast lane on the way two more pay-per-views <laughs> we have got a lot to come guys and i'm feeling it already on the road to wrestlemania guys imagine this roman reigns versus edge finn balor versus edge at wrestlemania or drew mcintyre versus Edge no matter what opponent guys it is 
it would be a fantastic show of shows, guys. A fantastic match. But anyway, this was the Contenders Corner podcast, and this was just basically a discussion of who would be more likely to have a chance at defending their titles against the rated R superstar Edge. But again, this was the Contenders Corner, guys, and we have talked everything that is wrestling on this show. And again, join us for some more wrestling talk on the Contenders Corner, or you can catch up, guys, on our playlist on YouTube at Review Geek 3000. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and stay tuned for the latest content that will be dropped on this channel. And again, you lovely YouTubers, stay awesome.